Hello everybody, my name is Samantha and welcome to the Where's My Witches At podcast. On today's episode, we're going to talk about some more negativity and this is from a personal standpoint for me because I fed into a rash of negativity from somebody that I do not know and it was all because I was defending somebody who had an injustice done to them and then I got a rash of backlash of negativity from one specific person and I fed into it and I should have never fed into it and because I fed into it and I lashed negativity back I am feel like I'm paying for it actually because my world right now and is off center I I'm I'm just kind of out of sorts I let the negativity consume me and that is something that I should have never done and I know better I've learned these lessons in the past I don't know why that I fed into it but we're all human and we all feed into certain types of negativity and we allow it to consume us we allow it to control us and that is something that I feel like that I have preached about is don't let you don't let anybody control you you are in control of you and I need to practice what I preach on this because I allowed this person to take control of me and I'm very pissed off about it and I think that that's why I can't really get back to my center because I'm still pissed off about it and it's also why that it's taken me a while to get this podcast recorded and uploaded this week that and there has been some some legit technical difficulties with the company that I use that distributes my podcast there was some issues with that and that caused a delay but then there was everything else and I was I was my mind space was not right I was not in the right frame of mind to sit and do a podcast and to do a recording. So I just took the time that I needed to kind of settle down, to kind of get things out of my system, to meditate, to get my head right. So I could record a show that would possibly be beneficial to somebody else because that's kind of the whole point of this podcast. And I feel like speaking on my personal experiences of dealing with recent negativity issues that there's somebody else out there that could be going through the same thing. We all experience negativity from others and we're human and we feed into it and we've got to stop feeding into it because it just makes us not good people. It, I, I spewed things back at a certain person that I have not spewed back at people in a long time. And I was angry and I was mad and I just wanted to fight somebody. And yeah, we all get there. And it's unrealistic to say that we're all supposed to be calm and peaceful and zen-like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, because that is highly unrealistic. People cut you off on the, on the highway or on the interstate. Your neighbors piss you off. You have family members that that cause problems. So for me to say that everybody should just sit there and be zen all the time, that is unrealistic. But what you can do is you cannot feed in to the negativity for long periods of time. The issue that I had went on for an entire week And I allowed it to happen. And that's what pisses me off is that I allowed it to happen. I should have not have done that. I should have said my piece and I should have walked the hell away. And I feel like that that's what people should do. They should say what they need to say, regardless of what's said back and walk the hell away. But I also understand that some situations that's also unrealistic techniques that I've tried. I've, I've done the meditation. I haven't even been interested in my own music. I don't want to pick up the guitar, the bass, or play the piano. And that is something that's not like me because that kind of is my go-to to kind of release things that are in my life. It's my therapy. And I haven't even been wanting to do that. And that, that bothers me. And I don't want to force myself to do it because I've tried that and it's just not fun. And I'm not even in Zen in my garden and everybody knows that that's my thing too. I have spent a lot of car moments alone just in my thoughts, just trying to release the negative hold that I'm feeling. I know that there's somebody out there that has experienced this. And if you have any advice for me, please, witchyvibes33 gmail.com, just email me in or hit me up on Facebook or Discord. I really 
kind of need some advice because the situation that I'm in, it's, it's not that I can't walk away from it because I have walked away from it. As of now, I've walked away from it, but it's still consuming my thoughts because it made me so unbearably angry. I have to let it go. I, t- I tell this to my sister all the time because she deals with certain negativities from people that are kind of, you know, close family to her. And she has to deal with them. In a sense, she has to deal with those people. I tell her all the time to let it go. Let let people go. Let them go. Not let them go in a way that you won't have any kind of participation in their life. Especially if they're family or if they're close to you in some way. I'm just saying, let their negativity go. Let whatever they say, whatever they do, whatever they come up with, just let it go. Just let it fly away and don't even deal with it. And this person that I have had a quarrel with, I actually personally do not know. I do not know them. I got backlash for defending somebody I did know. And this person just decided to attack me for doing that. And... Who cares? That, that's what I should have been. Is who cares? Who cares what this person thinks? But I, I got really caught up in it. So I am currently letting that whole situation go because I should have never let it bother me. It, it was something that I should have never done. I should have just walked the hell away, blocked this person and went on. But I didn't. And that's my fault. That's on me. So if you are experiencing something like this, and if it's something that's daily, because this situation, I haven't done something like this where I fed into this negativity for this long of a time in a very long time. So if you are going through something like this and it's something that you can't get away from, my advice, and and I'm taking my own medicine here, (laughs) my advice is to if it consumes you and you know it consumes you, you have to get alone. You have to get by yourself. You have to deal with your anger and you have to deal with your thoughts. Maybe this is a good time for shadow work. You have to write down exactly how you feel. I feel like writing is a form of energy that people don't realize how much thought and energy and the the universe responds to pen and paper because you are physically writing something and you, you're physically putting your thoughts and your feelings and your soul onto this paper. And that's why I say that writing things down is such a good thing. That's why writing songs and music has always been my therapy is because I can write my feelings out and I can sing them out and I can play them out. And then they're done. They're, they're out. I haven't even been able to do that just yet. And so write it down, get it all out because you cannot harbor negativity in your soul. And I had for a week, I literally harbored the negativity. I, I just could not get rid of it. I was like, no, I'm mad and I'm angry and I'm keeping it. And this, this shit doesn't work. It makes you a horrible person. Sometimes it makes you feel horrible. It makes you think horrible things. So I realized a couple days ago that I was doing this. I was bottling it in and I was harboring it and I was letting it grow and I was feeding it. And it's like, oh my God, what am I doing? I have worked so damn hard within my spirituality to not be this person anymore. And we're all human and we're all capable of certain things, but we, we strive to grow and we strive to get better. And I just took a thousand steps back in my opinion. And it's like, no, I'm not doing this, not doing this anymore. I wrote out everything I felt. I wrote it all out on paper. I spent some time alone with my thoughts. I didn't even gather my thoughts when I was writing. It's not like I was writing a letter and anybody's going to read this. This is for me because I wrote it out. I got it all out on paper. It was three damn pages of just anger of how I felt about a certain person how they made me feel, what I wanted to do to them, what I would have done to them. (laughs) I mean, it was a lot of foul shit that I got out. And then I burned it. I contemplated on it. I reread it a couple times. And then I fucking burned it. And I feel so much damn better that I did. 
And that's how I dealt with it. That was the technique that I used. Because I'm going to tell you right now, smoke cleansing did not help me in this situation. Where normally it would. It would help me get rid of the negative energy that, that kind of surrounds me. Water cleansing did not work. Certain meditations did not work. My go-to vices that I have in place of things that I love, my gardening, my music, did not work. Nothing was working. I was just so damn mad. But I had to come to a point. I had to come to a point where I said, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going to allow somebody to take control over me. I'm not going to allow somebody, especially somebody I don't even freaking know, control me. And that, and they did have a control on me. Whether they knew it or not, they had a control on me. So the method I ended up using was writing it all out and burning it. And it, and it worked. If you are struggling, maybe try that because it made me feel better. It honestly did. I feel 10 times better than I did three days ago. I feel 10 times better than I did seven days ago. I just had to get it out because when you bottle things up, it grows. And I am a bottler. I've been bottling my emotions my entire life. It has taken me almost all my life to realize how unhealthy bottling up emotions and bottling up feelings do to a person. It, it just trashes your soul. And I learned this sometime in my 20s that letting things go, letting it out, getting it fixed, getting rid of it was so much more beneficial to me. So I've always worked since then to not bottle things up. Even though I know that I'm capable of doing so and even know that I still do from time to time. But they're not big things. This one that happened was a big thing. I should have never bottled this up. I was so mad. So I got it out. And I got it out in the best way possible to where I wasn't ranting about it to every single person that came into my my space. I'm like, oh my God, did you hear about this? That is a whole different type of of negativity spreading because I just took the negativity that spread on me and I just gave it to somebody else and then I'm involving other people and it's just ridiculous. So don't do that because I did. And now I feel like shit because I kind of drug some people in and I have dealt with those things. I've apologized and <laughs> of course they don't care. They think I'm crazy. They're like, I don't even know why you know, you're apologizing. It wasn't even a big deal. You're just venting. Well, sometimes venting about a certain negative situation kind of still spreads the negativity. It's, it's one thing to tell somebody the story of, hey, what happened? And you tell them. But when you tell them from a negative space, it, it's, it just seems nasty. And it doesn't in the moment. Absolutely not. It seems perfectly valid in the moment. But after the moment, you just kind of sit back and you're like, shit, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said anything. I should have had my thoughts together. I should have had my emotions together. So I have now got my emotions together. And I let it go. And letting it go is, was the best damn feeling in the world. And I know that letting things go is hard to do, especially if it's somebody in your life that you kind of have to deal with on a regular basis. Like I was saying with my sister, I kind of, I preached these things to her. And of course I did not practice what I preached in my own situation and shame on me for that. But when you have somebody in your life that is completely horrible and negative and just causes you problems and causes you pain, you have to let them go. You have to release that energy and not let any future energies that they project onto you affect you. And that takes work. That takes a lot of work to do. I allowed a stranger to penetrate my forces. So I can't even imagine what it is like to have somebody close to you constantly do the same thing. I don't have people that are close to me in my life that I... I've already gotten rid of them, actually. So they're not so permanent in my life that I have to interact with them every day or every other day. So I have already gotten those people out of my life. But for some people, it's not that easy. It's not that easy to just say, you know what, you're done and not deal with them anymore. Because a lot of these people are direct family. So you have to really protect yourself, not from them in a sense. You have to protect yourself from you. You're the vessel. You're the one who decides what is going to affect you and what is not. 
You're the one that can put a stop to any kind of negativity in your life. You're the one that chooses to accept it or reject it. You have to put protections for you. On a regular day, on any other situation, the person that I took exception to would never have phased me. But I allowed it to happen. And I think that that is an important lesson that I have learned. All these years, I have always said I protect myself from negativity. I will not participate in anything negative. And I have tried to stay away from it, and I've done a pretty good job at it. But this last week, I realized I'm the one that allowed that person to penetrate my protections. I allowed that person to do so. I opened the door. So this is not an issue where I have to rebuke them out of my life and protect myself from them. I have to protect myself from me. And I have to learn not to open the door. Keep it locked. They're not going to kick it down because I have the power for them not to kick it down. So that's my lesson. That is the lesson I learned. And I think that that is the lesson that I might want everybody else, my listeners, to kind of think about. If you're dealing with negativity, you have the power to stop it. It is all based on you. They are not the ones that are causing you all the problems because you allow them to. If you don't allow them to and you let them go, just let it go. They can't bother you. They cannot irritate you. They cannot piss you off and they cannot hurt your feelings if you don't allow them to. All right, guys, my time is up. I do appreciate you guys listening. Please join my Facebook group, Where's My Witch Is At, and my Discord server. Reach out to me anytime at Witchy Vibes 33 I hope you guys are having a wonderful witchy week, because this is airing on a Monday. <laughs> and grab your cauldrons, grab your brooms, sweep away the damn negativity, and do something witchy. 